AMD's Ryzen 9 power combined with a lot of RAM and powerful integrated graphics sounds pretty tempting, but how does it rank against the competition? We're testing today the new edition of B-Link SCR6 mini PC and want to know everything about it. So let's inspect. Hey everybody, great to meet you on the channel. I'm the Tech Mishka and some cool tech to be inspected over here. This happens to be a very small yet super powerful computer. It comes from the company called B-Link and they kind of propose you yesterday's technology in 2024's like price, which like it goes a little bit down and some pretty exciting connectivity and expandability options, which I'm going to discuss throughout this whole episode. So that's their latest SER6 mini computer, which is running Windows 11 Pro, offers fantastic performance and is it good enough for 2024 standards? Let's dive into it. B-Link are traditionally great about pricing. They can offer fantastic price-performance ratio and unlike some other value-oriented brands, B-Link are lately going for good kind of components inside, which not only is going to guarantee slightly better performance, but also would mean longer lifespan, theoretically at least. You can compare them against brands such as Morphine or Geekom and of course some more expensive developments by Dell, Asus and so on. It's a good feeling while you're preparing the device for the first time use. The box looks nice, you can see about the specs inside and we're obviously going to try this quite well specced edition. A nice greeting at the start. I use a guide which you get to see before getting the box out, always a good idea. There's a remark about the setup, might be helpful. And hey, this is a slightly different design to what Beeling have been deploying with their previous mini PCs. The bottom has two long rubber lines, with the idea to keep it steady on your desk. The sides have a lot of cuts for optimal airflow, some connectivity ports on the back and a few on the front. I like what I see so far. The box with accessories contains this brand new style of the power supply. It's a big thing to note, very compact and kind of looks like a gun charger for a smartphone. You can see that it's made by AZW, which is the same company staying behind the B-Link brand and one of the large Chinese mini PC factories. What seems to be missing here is the famous VESA mount adapter. Apparently this model is not meant to use this kind of tech, which doesn't mean that you cannot attach it on the back of the monitor. Cable ties or Velcro are always an option, but I feel that this works best if you place it on your desk or any other dedicated space for the purpose. The 2024 edition of SER6 by B-Link is indeed a mini one with very tolerable dimensions and somewhat smaller than most of the competitors. I know that you're here for the details, so let me cover the most important tech highlights and get to analyze them afterwards. A Ryzen 9 6900HX processor, up to 64GB DDR5 dual-channel RAM, Radeon 680M graphics, DisplayPort, HDMI port, bunch of USB ports with the fastest one being USB 4.0, you count on inbuilt good quality Wi-Fi adapter as well as 2.5GB LAN, active cooling and of course the operating system is Windows 11 Professional Edition at launch. I was thinking the other day, as soon as we talk about Portable computers, we immediately think about laptops. And these small mini PCs totally qualify for being super portable. Well, sometimes this can be a bit of a challenge because if you travel, if you bring one with you, you have to think about finding a monitor, maybe peripherals, but most hotels would have such a monitor. The question is, can you really easily connect to it with an HDMI cable or not? But with some good planning, I think this can be the almost perfect portable computer. Now, being a new 2024 model, this appears with a Ryzen 9 processor with a few catches. First of all, inside the hardware is obviously laptop grade, and we have the implementation of 6900HX, something that got released in the early days of 2022, and at the time I'm recording this are kind of the early days of 2024. So it's a bit older version, but on the other hand, Beelink are offering it at an amazingly good price, and luckily in terms of performance, it's not that far from 2024's Ryzen 9 mobile processors. And in terms of hardware, seems to have a really good pack because we have dual channel DDR5, we have 
two M2 drive slots and a lot of other goodies that we are going to explore together with the real life performance. And yes, we're also going to run some benchmark tests, but I'm also curious about upgradability and repairability, so let's check on that as well. Accessing the internal components is rather easy. I find it very cool that B-Link themselves show you how to do this in a short YouTube video. This is another great example about providing good level of customer care. And for the record, this video is in no way sponsored and I'm not getting paid to make any endorsements. But as someone who highly appreciates good customer service, I feel it's important to note down. Be extra careful with the fan cable gently disconnected before accessing all the internals. It's the only thing that can actually go wrong here. Now, we can take a closer look at the NVMe. It's a very budget-friendly variation, expected for many PCs of such kind of value. You can go for significantly faster storage, something I'd strongly recommend if you plan to use the PC for working with large files, such as video editing or audio production. Just keep in mind that a good 2TB drive may cost kind of half of what you pay for the entire computer over here. And apparently the performance, especially concerning read speeds, is not that bad. Underneath the NVMe drive, there's the wireless module. Good news, you can replace this one too. And you can add a second storage module. The RAM DIMMs are of rather good quality, made by Crucial, and Billings seem to partner with them a lot lately. If you want to do something on the CPU side or any further system board adjustments, it's not recommended and in most cases a CPU failure or a problem with a motherboard are going to result into me recommending you to buy a new mini PC. Because repairing the latter two may cost too much. But RAM, storage, wireless module and cooling are easy to fix or upgrade, so the SER6 ranks above the average for mini PCs, especially given the fact that there are more and more models coming out with LPDDR memory, which is soldered on the SOC. Needless to say that I'm not a fan of this kind of concept. Let's go now for some testing in real life use cases. Basics are, of course, so well covered. Launching a web browser happens instantaneously. Installing an app from Microsoft Store happens as quickly. You can see that even some heavier websites wouldn't bother the system at all, which is no surprise given the extremely powerful CPU inside. You can tweak it though. By default, the processor TDP is set to maximum and you can tweak it down in case you don't need that much of power. Thing is that you have to be careful in case you want to use the USB 4 port on the back for power delivery and PD3 is supported for that purpose. Make sure to get familiar with the BIOS prior to that because you might have to go for the CPU settings configuration. On top, some more parameters are configurable too. To me, this newly adopted feature is a big thing and has worked totally flawless. Furthermore, makes it easy to carry the mini PC without its power adapter as long as you have the right kind of a power bank. Most of the following synthetic tests I've performed at maximum CPU performance levels so that you can see how much we can rely on this Ryzen 9 CPU. The difference to the latest generation as of making this video is not that significant in terms of performance. It will be more about power efficiency and price, of course. As you can notice, there are so many good reasons to be excited about it, especially when it comes to performance. However, the compact size and the very powerful processor have their saying when it comes to noise levels. Yeah, I guess if Beeling have used a slightly larger fan, the levels of noise could have been lower. Good thing is that you're going to hear the fan spinning when the PC is under stress in situations such as gaming or photo editing or whatever requires more of the CPU attention. Gaming confirms most of the observations thus far. This AMD NVU is pretty amazing. The FPS amount in 1080p is nothing short of impressive. You may get similar performance out of the dedicated GPUs, such as a GTX 1050 Ti by NVIDIA, which, by the way, is also supported as long as you have the right kind of case and you can connect eGPUs via the USB 4.0 port. But even without the help of eGPU, here we talk about a little breakthrough, which is further extended by the more recent Radeon 780M, which I've showcased in a similar review about a slightly newer CPU model. 
I'm trying to say that this mini computer works perfectly fine with most of the usual tasks for a PC, such as editing documents, writing text, browsing, using social media and so on, but at the same time, the specs, despite based on the two-year-old AMD architecture, will remain relevant for at least another few years. Plus, your copy of Windows 11 Pro is licensed, and you're going to get all the functional updates and enhancements over time. And still, the SER6 the 2024 edition that we have over here is not entirely perfect. The noisy fan, some Plex server-related challenges which are usual for AMD-based systems, and the absence of VESIM mount integration. I think these are fair drawbacks given the price points. So yeah, in the end of the day, this feels like a reasonable upgrade, an incremental one, but bringing some really necessary changes. Obviously, yes, the key selling point would be the Ryzen 9 processor inside, which together with the embedded graphics is remarkable even for gaming. But I feel that the most significant change over here, besides the improved cooling, is the ability to power feed this mini PC through a Type-C port, which could be game-changing, and I really hope that more makers and models are going to adopt this technology in the future. So that's what I think about the Ryzen 9-based SER6 2024 edition by B-Link. It's kind of easy to root for it, given the price point, and yes, it's expensive, but if we compare it to similarly spec desktop computers or laptops or even the competition, this costs significantly less. So that's my take on this mini computer. If you like it or not, I'd love to hear in the comment section below the video. As usual, more information about the product and a way to order it, you're gonna find in the video description area. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I'm the Tech Mishka. Can't wait to see you in the next video, so subscribe. Bye.